If you're not tracking your expenses, you're really not giving yourself a chance financially. If you are tracking, I have some ideas. Hopefully you're already doing or you can start after this video. So I see a lot of people struggling financially and I think tracking your expenses, budgeting is the very first thing you need to figure out. You need to know where you're at right now in order to know what you need to do in the future. So if you're able to do this effectively, you're going to have a bunch of money to save and invest. Hey, what's up? My name is Henry. Welcome to The Wong Mindset. The reason why you should be tracking your expenses is so you can see what the crap you're wasting money on. You'll see exactly what you're saving and have a chance to make better decisions. You might not even be saving any money. You could be negative, not making enough to cover all of your expenses. You have to know exactly what's going on in order to know what to do. It should give you more motivation when you see your total savings number, it does something psychologically. You're gonna feel like you're doing something right and you're gonna to wanna to do more. So it really depends on you, but I'm constantly pushing myself to get more. So I have more, my family has more, just so we have a chance out there. The world is changing really fast these days, okay? You can't guarantee your job is gonna be around for another 10, 20 years. Okay, also budgeting helps so when bills come, you have the money ready to go to pay at any time. It should be like that, okay? You shouldn't be trying to figure out a bill regularly like property taxes, okay? That should be accounted for in your budget and ready to go at any time. You shouldn't be looking around where to pay for a big bill. You knew what's coming. When you track your spending, you actually have a chance at controlling your spending too. Everyone likes to swipe a credit card, right? It's so easy and convenient. You don't feel a, really a limit, okay? I love to do it all the time too. Uh, and my wife is right there with me on that. So how do you fix all of this with tracking your expenses? First, let's go over how you should track all of your expenses. Okay, start with Excel. List every reoccurring expense you have, like your mortgage, your rent, insurance, car payments, subscriptions, everything that you pay for regularly. Check your credit card statement, bank statement for the last year. If you're planning to take a trip every year, you need to put a line for that too. Okay, break it down into every week, every month. You'll be surprised. A uh, $2,000 trip is about $38 a week, so it's doable. If you know you go crazy during Christmas, make sure you set aside money for that too. Add it to your expense list. Just an amount you're gonna put aside to spend during Christmas. Uh, this is so at the end of the year, you can just take this money right out of the account and buy whatever you need. Okay, you won't be looking around thinking how you're gonna cover all the presents. Uh, it's already paid for. Uh, then I like to break it down to weekly, bi-weekly, and yearly columns have a column that breaks it all down so you have a view of what it looks like down to the weekly level and, and yearly level. You know what you're putting aside for that. And those are the most common ways that people get paid, right? Every week or every two weeks. I get paid every two weeks and my, my wife gets paid every week. And most bills come every month. Some bills come every year, like property tax. So it's good to have a view of each of those things just to see how it breaks out. Now add a line for spending. Okay, this is my secret sauce. People usually get messed up because they don't have a line for this. There's normally nothing that they use to track the random spending that they do on the daily, weekly, monthly. Whenever you go out for food, you grab a coffee, you buy something random on Amazon. This is a line that you put aside what you think is fair to spend each week. You know, check your statements. What are you spending money on? Come up with an average amount that you spend per week. If it looks too high, then lower it. Okay, you shouldn't be spending that much anyways. And the way I do it is I have a separate account for this. So I don't mix up all the funds for expenses and what I can do for spending and what I can do for savings, right? The separate, there should be separate accounts for that. So that one account for expenses with everything that you listed in your spreadsheet that's reoccurring expenses should have an account. And it's just for those expenses. When those expenses come up, you just use that account, pay right off, you won't even notice. So the account for savings that should have the leftover money from all of your income minus all of your expenses this one might be good to have in a separate account so you don't see that you have that funding there um, some people have that problem if you see it you might try to spend it and the last account is the spending account okay that's just for random spending that you do so I have it transfer that fund every single Friday you don't wanna set it aside once a month or anything like that, okay? And then blow your budget in the first week and have nothing in the account for the rest of the month and eat ramen noodles, okay? You don't want that. Just find something that works for you. I know everyone's different, but this is how I do it and it's been working really well for me and anybody else that I've shared this with. 
If you spend some money on a credit card, I think that's fine too, right? You're trying to get some rewards, but you gotta pay it right off using that spending account. But if you know yourself and you can lose control with a credit card, then don't even bother with a credit card. Okay, just use a debit card for this account. Do what you gotta do. So now you should have all of your expenses totaled up. Next thing you gotta do is put in your income. List everything you make regularly. If it's not a clean, consistent amount, then take an average, okay, for the last 12 months and put that down. Or just put the minimum amount that you know you're gonna get, right, and use that number. So I have to do that for my wife's pay paycheck, right? It, it, it fluctuates all the time. I can't really tell exactly, but I knew, know there's an amount that she always gets, and I use that for my calculations. And total all of that income up. The last line at the end should be the total of your income minus all of your expenses. This should be a positive number. This is what you should be able to put aside into the savings account. You have to be clear what you're actually saving. Don't get it twisted. Don't get it all mixed up, not knowing what's spending, what's an expense and what's savings, right? And then end up with nothing. So now you should have a good view of your finances, how you're doing every week, month, year. When I hear budgeting, this is what I think about. I'm not making up random numbers to hold myself to, uh, but if your number is negative, that means you're not making enough to support your lifestyle. Putting things on a credit card isn't the solution. It doesn't mean things are gonna be paid for. You don't make enough to cover and try to cover a 20% interest rate credit card. You need to make more money, okay? People don't like to hear that. And they think there's no way, how can I make more money? Or look at the expenses and see what you can cut. There's, I hate subscriptions. They milk your wallet indefinitely, okay? So cut the ones you know you don't need, okay? If you really wanna use it, you can always sign back up. They're, trust me, they're gonna be happy to take your money. If there's nothing left to cut and you're still struggling, then the only thing left to do is make more money. Okay, I know that's easy to say, but there's plenty of ways out there to make extra money nowadays, right? You could Uber, Lyft, Amazon, FBA, anything. I don't care, you need to think about it. See if there's any way you can get a promotion or raise, change careers maybe. And then you also need to look into investing when you do have money so you can avoid these kind of problems in the future. I'm always talking about stocks, real estate that gives you money regularly in the form of dividends or cash flow. So if you don't find a way to get that, you're gonna be working until you die. Regularly look at that spreadsheet and make updates. Things always change. This way you really know where your finances are. And it helps psychologically to know. Okay, when I see it in front of me, it helps me to kind of curb my spending. It also helps to know that you're getting somewhere financially, right? When you see that savings number you, and then you look at your account, you see it growing. So after you have some savings, make sure you invest it, okay? Put it into something that can grow your money. Just having that money in a savings is not really gonna get you anywhere. I'm all about real estate, uh, but I know that's not for everyone, okay? Most people seem to be fine with investing in stocks Historically, the S&P 500 will make you money and you don't have to do any work, okay? It's completely passive. You can regularly invest in an S&P 500 index fund for that, or if you can make time to study, then you can get into dividend stocks that pay you a dividend regularly. So these are just some of my ideas uh, that I recommend. Uh, I have some videos that go into more detail on some of these things, so definitely check those out. There's plenty of things in this world now that can grow your money. Right, you just gotta go out there and look and learn and study. Just keep in mind to look for things that can grow passively without you working a whole day job for. So hopefully you're budgeting and tracking your expenses, doing some of these things that I'm talking about, uh, then you should be on the right track to being financially free. If you're not doing this, it's a matter of time before you run into trouble with money. I've been doing this the last 10 years and we've been able to keep our spending under control for the whole family. Okay, we can accurately project how much we actually save and we've been able to use our savings to invest in San Francisco rental real estate. Okay, when you first try to budget, it's hard, I know. You worked so hard to get here, why can't I spend some dough? You can spend money, you just need to do it right. My problem in the past was I tracked reoccurring expenses, but anything left over became spending money. I put things on a credit card and spent any leftover cash, there was no savings. Okay, I also mixed accounts up, so I never knew what I really had left. The spending account I started and, and created a separate savings account, that was my hack for budgeting, right? I always hear about people budgeting and they just have one spreadsheet, track everything and that's it. And there's so many little details and so many little things that I never knew, but this is the way I handled it and it's worked really well for me. Uh, hopefully you can take some of these ideas and see what works for you. 
I realize everyone out there does something different, okay? If something doesn't work for you, make sure to keep trying something else until it does. So if you're interested in real estate and why I love it so much, uh, you can check out this video right here. Thanks for watching and I'll chat with you in the next one.